in this video we're going to look at drawing quadratic graphs quadratic graphs are graphs with the highest power of squared so the highest powers of two are x squared graphs and they form the shape of a smiley face or a sad face it's a positive x squared graph so if the x squared is positive it forms this, this u shaped parabola and if it's a negative x squared graph, it kind of forms this, this sad face, this N-shaped parabola. So this is a, what it calls x squared graph. We may get a calculator to do these questions, but we may not. So we're going to do it without a calculator now. If you have a calculator, you can just write whatever x is inside a bracket. So, and change the number in here. So if I wanted to work out 3 squared, so if this one... I'd put 3 inside the bracket and squared. The brackets are important because the calculator will get the minus signs wrong if you don't put the brackets in. So 3 squared is 9. And then I'd put 2 squared, that's 4. 1 squared, which is 1. 0 squared is 0. And minus 1 squared, this is where... The brackets are really important. Minus 1 times minus 1 is positive 1. Minus 2 squared is positive 4. And minus 3 squared is positive 9. So when we've got these, these are our coordinates now. These are our x and y coordinates. So x, y, 3, 9, 2, 4. These are what we plot on the graph. So 3, 9, 3, 9. 2, 4, 1, 1, 0, 0, minus 1, 1, minus 2, 4, and minus 3, 9. Okay, we can see that it's forming a nice parabola, a nice U shape, a nice smiley face shape. So we know that it's we haven't made a mistake we, if it didn't form that shape we would have made a mistake and we can go and look back and see what it is and that is roughly what they look like so here's another example this is what they're more likely to look like so it's not just x squared you not usually have something after it this is still a quadratic graph because the highest power is still two this, these two are lower powers. If we had a calculator again, wherever x is, we're going to put brackets. So, like that. And then in the calculator, you can just put whatever number you're looking for inside the bracket. So if I was looking for 4, I'd put 4 inside the bracket. So that would be what I'd write in the calculator. But seeing I'm not using the calculator, uh, 4 squared is 16. Plus 4 is 20, minus 12 is 8. Second one, 3 squared, plus 3 minus 12. 3 squared is 9, 9 plus 3 is 12, 12 minus 12, that's nothing. 2 squared plus 2 minus 12. 2 squared is 4, plus 2 is 6, minus 12, minus 6. 1 squared plus 1 minus 12. 1 plus 1 is 2 minus 12 minus 10. Zero plus zero is zero minus 12. That's minus 12. And then what we usually get with these graphs is we get we start to get a repeating pattern because we know it's going to be a U shape, so it's probably going to start coming back up. So we've got uh, minus 1 squared, which is plus 1, minus 1 is 0, minus 12. Minus 2 squared, plus minus 2, minus 12. Minus 2 squared is 4, 4 take away 2 is 2, 2 minus 12 is minus 10. And then what we'll get is we'll get the numbers coming back up to form a symmetrical pattern. See, these two are the same, these two are the same. These two are the same, these two are the same. It's worth checking um, if I minus 3 squared plus minus 3 minus 12, 
that's 9 minus 3 is 6, 6 minus 12 is minus 6, minus 4 squared is 16, 16 minus 4 is 12, minus 12 is 0, so that's what we've got there. And then again plot the coordinates, so 4, 8, 4, 8, 3, 0, 2 minus 6, 1 minus 10, 0 minus 12, minus 1 minus 12, minus 2 minus 10, there, minus 3 minus 6, minus 4, 0. And then again, we've got this U-shaped graph. So we can draw it going down just below there and back. Okay, here's another one. Um, try and fill out the grid and then plot the coordinates. Give it a go. Okay, so if we're using a calculator, we'll do brackets wherever the x's are and we'll just substitute numbers into the brackets so if I had 4 I have 4 squared which is 16 plus 4 which is 20 take away 6 which is 14 3 squared plus 3 minus 6 3 squared is 9 plus 3 is 12 12 minus 6 is 6 2 squared is 4, plus 2 is 6, minus 6 is 0. 1 squared is 1, plus 1 is 2, minus 6 is minus 4. 0 minus 6 is minus 6. Minus 1 squared is plus 1, take away 1 is 0, minus 6 is minus 6. And then what you're going to find is pattern repeats. So we're going to get the same numbers on this side. Let's, I'll do minus 5 to check. Minus 5 squared is 25. Minus 5 is 20. Minus 6 is 14. You can see how that works. If you've got a calculator, it's, it's easy to do this quickly. You just change a number inside the brackets. Um, but seeing we weren't using the calculator, it's important also that we spot the pattern. It's repeating on both sides. So we've got the coordinates now, 4, 14, 3, 6, 2, 0, 1, minus 4, 0, minus 6, minus 1, minus 6, 2, minus 4, minus 3, 0, minus 4, 6, and minus 5, 14. And again, we've got a nice U shape, nice smiley face shape graph. And we just join through the points as accurately as possible. Slightly below there. And then up. 